there are plants and animals which show extreme adaptations for their survival. There are shortest, there are tallest, there are tiniest, there are largest, there are lightest, there are heaviest. There are some plants which grow very, very slow. There are some plants which grow very fast. There are some animals which are the fastest. There are some animals which are slowest. So this entire world is full of extremes. And actually, it helps these organisms to survive in this harsh world of competition. So let us see some of those. This is a peregrine falcon, the fastest bird on the planet. This bird has been filmed diving at a speed of around 300 kilometers per hour. Of course, it is diving with the help of gravity of the earth, although it is an extreme adaptation to locate the prey at that speed. Extreme adaptation indeed. There are some sprinters in the insect world. The tiger beetles from Australia are known to run with a speed of around 9 km per hour. The American cockroach, which is found worldwide, is known to run with the speed of around 5.5 km per hour. There are some leaf hoppers which can jump to the height of around 70 centimeters. The flying fish actually glides about the surface of water with a speed of around 70 km per hour. This feat is achieved by the fish by thrashing its tail on the water at a speed of around 50 strokes per second. Indeed, an extreme adaptation. For its size, the wolverine is a most ferocious and efficient meat eater. This animal is known to bring down a large reindeer and elk. Not only that, this animal is known to defend its prey from larger predators like wolves and grizzly bears. The eagles are the most efficient weightlifters. A large harpy eagle from Brazilian rainforest which can weigh around 10 kg is known to carry a monkey or a tree sloth which can weigh around 8 kg. So this bird in effect is putting 18 kilograms of weight on its wing, a really really efficient aerial weightlifter. The bee hummingbird is just 5 cm across. On the other side of the scale, an ostrich has an eyeball of around 5 cm in diameter, a really really extreme size variation within birds. The largest land animal on the planet, African elephant. It can be as tall as 4 meters at shoulders and can weigh as heavy as 10 tons. Really huge animal. A microscopic world is far more than fully explored. There are creatures called as the rotifers which can be as small as 0.04 millimeters across. More than 250 of them, if they are lined together, they are just across the head of the pin. There are some creatures like tardigrades which live in damp areas on mosses. If they dry out, they will enter a temporary phase of suspended animations and they can be blown away by winds and they can come to life when the moisture returns. A really, really fantastic feat. Animal world is full of dazzling colors. There are some leopards which are melanistic. The color pigment in those leopards has increased to the maximum and they appear black. So we call them as a black panther. In some butterflies and moths, there are dazzling colors. There are some butterflies and moths which are brightly colored and they show warning coloration that they are non palatable. There are some beetles like this golden scarab beetles. It is amazingly golden colored. In case of zebras, the stripe patterns on zebras are individual specific. No two zebras have stripe patterns similar like our fingerprints. Almost as a rule, the bright color in animal kingdom is dangerous. That means these animals are either toxic or venomous and non-palatable. This blue ringed octopus is highly venomous. 
in amazonian forest you'll find a group of brightly colored frogs called as the poison dart frogs these frogs create toxins from the food they eat like this yellow banded poison dart frog many animals have extreme vision the owl has tubular eyes instead of spherical eyes so it cannot move its eyeball instead it has to move its head to track its prey the spiders have many eyes situated on their head so they have a panoramic view of their surroundings the cephalopods like octopuses and squids have the largest eyes amongst the invertebrate world a giant squid can have an eyeball of a size of a football the fennec foxes of saharan africa have exceptionally long ears for the size of 20 cm at shoulders the foxes have ears as long as 15 cm in length they are so sensitive that they can hear a beetle walking on the sand few meters away the castor oil plant has a protein called as ricin it is the most potent plant poison of all Ricin has a toxicity higher than that of the cobra venom. Saguaro cactus is the plant with the slowest growth rate. A 10 year old plant can be only 2 inches in height. Giant kelp, it is a marine brown alga found in oceans. It is one of the fastest growing plant. It is known to grow up to 2 feet per day in a perfect condition. Actually, we were going through this fantastic book called Extreme Nature by Reader's Digest. All the extreme animals and plants have been illustrated with fantastic photographs and few facts. As you can see here in index, even the chapters which are 7 in number and they are titled aptly and also here you will see they have been described in detail with the contents within each chapter and few representative photographs. So this book by Reader's Digest gives a fantastic overview and insight to the extremes of the natural world. A fantastic book overall, a collector's copy.